This is an audio interface, more specifically the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. It's what I'm currently using to record this voiceover. In this video, I'm going to take you through exactly what this device is and how to use it. Hope you enjoy. An audio interface is, as the name suggests, an interface between audio and a computer. It takes the sound signal directly from a microphone or an instrument and converts that signal into one that is recognizable by computer software. Audio interfaces are used in music recording, voiceover recording, live sound applications like streaming or gaming, and many more situations. Basically, anytime you want to run sound into your computer, an audio interface is the tool you should reach for first. Let's briefly look at the interface itself to see what we're working with. Looking at the front of the interface, we can see two inputs, each with two gain dials. Below the gain dials, we can see a line slash instrument switch. This is used to switch the audio inputs between line level signals and instrument signals. Line level signals are run through an XLR cable. These are signals such as those from microphones or DI boxes. Instrument signals are like those from guitars or keyboards, and they plug into the interface using the standard quarter-inch guitar lead. Moving on, we have a 48 volts phantom power button, which applies phantom power to microphones should they require it, a direct monitor switch, a main monitor volume dial, and a headphone monitoring volume dial, with a headphone output. With the direct monitor switch on, you'll be able to hear any signal coming from either of the two inputs. The main monitoring dial adjusts the volume to the two main outputs, and the headphone monitoring dial adjusts the volume to the headphone output. Moving to the rear, we can see a USB type B plug. This connects to your computer. The two outputs, left and right, and a Kensington security lock, which you can think of as basically a bike lock for your interface. You shouldn't need this, hopefully. Let's get this interface set up. Step one, install any relevant drivers for your interface. If you're unsure of what to do, check the user guide of your particular interface. You should include instructions of where to find product drivers should they be necessary. Step two, plug the interface into your computer. Step three, plug in your monitor cables. These should run directly to your monitors. Now your interface is ready to use. So, let's run through an example on how to use an interface. In this example, we are wanting to record some main vocals for a song. So, here's what we need. Our interface setup from before, a set of headphones with a quarter inch connector, otherwise you can use one of these adapters, your microphone, and an XLR cable. You'll also need a DAW, or Digital Audio Workstation. This is a program designed for recording, mixing, and producing music. My go-to is Logic Pro. But free programs like Audacity are all you need to get started. First things first, let's plug everything into the interface. Plug in your XLR to your microphone, and the other end into one of the inputs. Then plug in your headphones. Now a very important step is phantom power. This will need to be turned on depending on what microphone you're using. Dynamic microphones like this Shure SM7B do not require phantom power. Ribbon microphones like this Royer 121 cannot be used with phantom power as it can potentially damage the sensitive ribbon of metal inside the microphone. Small diaphragm condensers like the Shure M5 and large diaphragm condensers like the Rode NT1A do require phantom power. Let's head to our door. Firstly, let's make sure we have our interface selected as both the audio input and audio output. To do that in Logic, all you need to do is head to Preferences, Audio, and here we can choose our input and output device. Now that that's taken care of, let's sound check our mic. While we're in Logic, let's turn on our input monitoring so we can see the level of the mic signal. Start speaking or singing into the microphone and adjust the gain dial to adjust the level of the mic. We're looking for a healthy signal which just approaches the yellow when you sing at the loudest. Now that we're sound checked and ready to record, all we need to do is arm the recording. And we're good to record. 
Audio interfaces are essential for anyone wanting to record their own music or anyone wanting to connect a microphone or an instrument to their computer. Thank you for joining me on this overview on audio interfaces and I hope that now you have the understanding of exactly what they are and most of all, I hope you've enjoyed watching.